Jeff and Kelly again. Jeff, it's a beautiful property. We're talking about mosquitoes. Tell me, Jeff, what is our first line of defense when, when we're treating the, the mosquito? You know, our goal on the mosquitoes, when we come out to do a structure, particularly like this, uh, there's a lot of areas you want to start at, but you always want to start up on the foundation side. Uh, and the reason I say that is because our goal is to stop what's breeding around the foundation or what's hanging or lingering around that foundation. Uh, and then we want to push them back. Right. So not only do we want to stop them with the products we're using, and it's a, a garlic barrier, it's a very good product, as you know, uh, but we also want to repel what we can repel sure. because that garlic does have a repellency to it. So, you know, if I can push the mosquitoes out Away of the from structure, the uh, I've got them beat, you know, and, and you can come out and enjoy your home and, and your, you know. We're on an elevated deck. That's correct. Which I, I do know that a lot of people love to spend time on their deck. I know some of our competitors, they don't treat the undersides of the, of the decks. Yeah, and what happens with mosquitoes, they have to rest during the day. They're strong flyers, but they rest where they feel there's a blood host going to come out or be. So what ends up happening, they get up under these nice uh, patios sure. right here. Uh, and, and you can see up underneath here, uh, it's nice and dark, it's damp, it's cold, it's cool. Uh, that's where they're gonna linger. Now what ends up happening at night when you walk out, dinner bell. you become the dinner. dinner. <laughs> yeah. So uh, with that, uh, what we wanna do is make sure we get product up underneath this uh, patio. And we wanna do that around the entire structure, not just the front. So you know? underneath is the, is, it's the same concept as underneath the leaves and the foliage and all that good stuff. That's correct. And you know, then we start working on, you know, we start on the foundation side, like we said. Sure. Uh, we start working our way back. Uh, we start hitting the, Shrubs, right? the shrubs. So we want to make sure that we hit these as well because as you can see and you start looking into these you do have that dark color right, uh, right. and that's a perfect spot especially the bigger and mature shrubs sure. uh, for them to linger. So we want to make sure we treat those but why we do that we want to make sure we treat them to where we don't hurt the bees and the, the pollination sure. and, and sure. all the other things that are going on with bushes when they start budding and, and all of that. So you know our goal at that point is to make sure we get a good coverage around this foundation, right. hit some of the foliage up underneath the patios, sure. uh, and st start working our way outside of the structure. So uh, the foundation, so we're pushing everything away from, from the home. That's correct. See, that's awesome. And then when we see the wooded lot as that, we know that there's another line of defense that we're gonna have well, that's to, right. to deal but, with as well. You know, uh, I start looking at around the structure. So sure. let's say we've done the structure, right. we're moving ourselves out. Uh, one of the things I like to do is, you know, you start to see those, and you know, you start looking at smaller areas. So you start to see the logs and the supports here where right. uh, you crevices. get the cracks and crevices around there. Sure. You want to make sure you're hitting those areas because just because it's not shrubbery or it's not on the side of the patio, you still want to make sure you maintain uh, an adequate treatment in those areas. So the eaves, the overhangs, we, yeah. do we treat those as well? Now we treat those, but we do that with more of a uh, backpack type apparatus. So uh, we use a backpack device. It's more of a straight stream where right. when I get into mosquito control, I want a large coverage area right. and I want it done uh, back into the shrubbery and, and pushed up underneath things. So we do that with a lot of uh, force and it's done more with a gas blower. On this se. particular property, you gotta take yep. a look at this because they have um, they have not only a pond, they have a couple other things going on. They have a couple gardens pushed away, yep. which we both know that this particular family, they use the whole the whole property. That's right. So when we go, when when once we've treated the home and we've yep. we've basically pushed everything away, yep. we're gonna come through. That's correct. We're gonna we're gonna continue to treat all the shrubbery. We're gonna treat all the downed limbs, uh, whatever it might entail. You know, we want to make sure we got you a nice barrier. So, let's say you do walk down the driveway like this. Sure. Uh, you can actually walk down the driveway and and go get your mail and not get eaten or being right. the the food source for the day. You got the stones as well, just like I said, the timbers back there. Cracks you got all the cracks and crevices yeah. in the dark areas. Uh, in those areas, you want to make sure that you get product in. And what's nice about that. Mr. Blower uh, is it forces that product right. up underneath there. So that's right. always a good uh, 
a good situation because it's designed to do exactly that. Uh, we're getting down here to the pond, so you know we're still treating at this point. Sure. Uh, all these areas now. Now, is this treatment? Is this would this be a fogger on the back of the truck, or would our boys have their backpacks on? No, this would be done with a uh, a backpack blower. Right. right. Uh, and it is made to do a probably a 20 foot swath. Right. When it's on full blast, uh, we've made it down here to the pond. I love uh, the pond. The pond. I'm sure the family hangs out. Well, the problem you have with ponds is stagnant water. Right. Uh, you know, it's not a bad deal if you have a pond and you have a, a, a pump in the center because sure. it's moving that water. Right. But when you get into stagnant water like this, uh, we've got what they call a, uh, a BTI briquette. Uh, what's nice about these briquettes, or you can get it in uh, different product styles. They do have it in granules where you th throw it out by the cup full. We like to use the pucks because they last a little longer. So our objective now is it becomes a larvicide. So we throw it in there. Uh, everything in the mosquito world happens in the water until it becomes an adult. Oh, wow. So, so this is a cesspool for breeding. That's correct. If oh, I had wow. to say, you could probably see them in there uh, squiggling around. Right. Uh, so what happens is they come to the surface, this product uh, layers that surface doesn't kill fish doesn't kill tadpoles so it's or safe frogs. for the ducks so you know, it's safe for everything that's awesome. it's aimed at stopping that mosquito from being able to breach that surface area Got and then kills the mosquito larva which is another means of control upon this size how many briquettes or pucks would we use uh, you're only talking about two or three oh, on, wow. on upon this size now so. we treat the parameter of the prop that's the correct pond as well I that's see. correct and you know you start to get into little homes and things like yeah, this duck or house. little structures sure uh, you want to make sure you hit those areas because same thing applies you still have the patio right uh, up underneath it uh, this is an organic product so we are not going to affect the water when right. we use that product so uh, just to give you an idea uh, it's safe for everything and then you get the larva side in here so you stop the reproduction wow uh, if you can break that cycle and i know you know we're at a small area of this entire woods sure. but this is definitely a breeding source and you want to make sure you take care of it and i so. know this family likes this pond and i know they hang out i know you know coming out of the winter you know it, it, there's a lot of algae and it looks like it's but in no time this this self this thing cleans itself out pretty pretty nice that's right like i said pumps are really good in ponds because sure. you get that flow of water move it right uh mosquitoes won't breed in moving water so right. uh you do still have some dark spots you know you got them up underneath uh the areas and ledges too so yeah you can treat those areas but i like to stick toward your uh, mosquito larva sides here sure, sure and then use your adult sides out there to control adults right right so any growth regulators or anything that we'd use no nothing in gotcha. here uh, we want to stay away from the growth regulators you can see the mosquitoes flying right there yep. as well i, I was uh, just gonna tell you he looked it looked like he came out of that tube sure. so you know they're harboring in that tube as sure. well which of course is another dark space but right. if we can take care of the larva at that point i think we had a good opportunity to kill off the uh population to make your 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 environment here much better what i like about our mosquito treatment there's nothing that we haven't seen and there's nothing that we can't handle. That's correct. And I think that with like on a property this size, we'd probably have two boys going at it hard. Yes. And you know, um, I said boys, but it could be anything. But oh yeah. Basically they'll, they'll come out conquer this, this, this is 6.5 acres, I think. That's right. Yeah. And it, it, it's, it's absolutely stunning on how much really that treatment helps around the home. Yeah. Especially, I mean, just treating this pond alone, you're going to do a significant amount of control. Sure. Yeah, because I'd have to say this is probably ground zero. It's on the ground property. zero for right here. That's you know, for that, we'll go back up. I want to show you the back part of this this home because okay. that that deck is an unbelievable. Okay. And when I look at it, you know, I, I say there, there's an elevated deck above, you know, above the first one. Yeah. And everything is really easy, accessible, and stuff like that. So I, I'm excited to. Um, to see the treatment, like your treatment plan on, on the backyard, if you will, because that's where, hey, I know at your house, you're a country boy. Yeah, we usually go in there and we hit it hard uh, sure. as well, just for the sure fact that we've got the same situation, same sure. setup. I just don't have as much water. We right. hold water in certain areas back in the woods that I think create a lot property, of our- In your property, majority of the trees are pushed on the back part of the lot. That's correct. And here, we're basically in the middle. Yeah, I mean- yeah. This would be a fun one to tackle just because of the fact that, you know, 
there's so many different areas that we'd have to treat. Yeah, but the nice thing about it is once you treat those areas, yeah. uh, you've created a great environment for these guys to come out here and hang and out. And Jeff, that's why we do it two times a month, just to keep that, you know, that product underneath all the foliage and, and underneath all the, you know, the elevated decks. That's correct. So the two times, and everything we use is safe, so it's environmentally friendly. That's right. Yeah, it's, it's you know, it's, it's, I'm always excited to see different lots and different, uh, different situations. Back here, I, yeah, I, this, I love the way they did this. This little different setup. Uh, sure. They do have the elevated patio. Right. Uh, as well back here. Sure. Uh, and we had looked at it already, but you're starting to get into dark and covered spots up right. there as well. Sure. That's where the residuals come in a little bit to where we can hit corners and some of these darker areas to where we can get products down that really help the matter. See, I, I, I was watching one of our, you know, competitors and not once did I see them treat underneath the elevated decks. Yeah, it's mandatory and I sort of make that mandatory. Sure. You know, when we wrote this program, one of the biggest things we knew about them is uh, strong flyers and everybody that you sit around and educate with right. says you better treat any place that's dark during the day. Right. Where, so where he's shooting now is just I mean that is that if I was a mosquito that's where I well yeah out. and you have the leaf pile and the leaf litter right. you can see the mosquitoes sure, up underneath can. there uh, so you know they start popping out when you start walking again you know what I out. also I'll tell you what I what I also liked was the um, the fact that if I was a mosquito here's the grill. So we know the family's probably going to eat oh, yeah. close to yeah, it. Yeah, they're, they're definitely using that spot. Yeah. Uh, I used to collect worms. Sure. So, and, and used to, to fish, you know, get them in and go fish. And we'd stand back there in piles of leaf litter like that. And they would be by there by the thousands. Sure. So as soon as you move that and that damp environment is right. there, right. they're underneath that leaf litter too. So they're not on the surface. So uh, that Mr. Blower, what's nice is it's forcing it in. So it's moving some of them leaves and really right. coating and getting a good coverage. That's a good idea. So you're yeah. disrupting the environment and That's you're, correct. you're putting a nice residual down. Yeah. You know, Jeff, the, the mosquito is no joke. I mean, it's the most dangerous insect on planet Earth. That's what I heard. Man, it, you know. <laughs> a lot many, of times today. Uh, yeah. <laughs> how, many people, how many people do you think the mosquito affects worldwide? Uh, well, like I said, it's a number, it's the deadliest animal in the world. Sheesh. So, you know, you compare that to car wrecks and the whole deal. Right. You got bees out here now. Yeah, that's a uh, nice guy. Uh, so yeah, getting that treatment I think uh, is, is the most important. Getting them decks, anything elevated like right. that is, is very important if you can get under them. Some right. of them are built right on the surface. Sure. They make it very difficult. But, right. You know, we got dust products for that's that right. as I've well. I've seen you do that as well. That's right. In between so, the cracks and crevices. That's right. Hey, remember, call A1 Able Pest Doctors. We'll come out, we'll give you a cost-effective free estimate. We'll definitely, definitely come out and tell you what it's gonna take to get the job done. That's Message right. us. We'll, we'll still come out and get us your info. We'll send, you know, either Jeff or myself. You right. love that, you know, you oh, love, love going out Yeah, these. mosquitoes are easy. Yeah, it's quick fix. Message us. We'll come out, give you a free estimate. We'll, we'll get the job, you know, handled for you. Remember, two times a month. You're going to be happy. If you can get your neighbor involved, that'll even help even more, won't it? Yeah, especially in the closer residential sure. sector where you have house next to house and yard to yard. Uh, you can do two or three yards helps tremendously as opposed to just that yard. Perfect. But we do have uh, uh, good success in, in control in one yard if we have to. Right. So. It's a pleasure coming out to this uh It's this beautiful, property. isn't it? It's gorgeous. I need me one of these. That's right. A1 Able Pest Doctors, 1-800-737-8189. Message us, hit that message button. We'll come out, we'll come running. You have a great day.